Yon, what's up mga kaibigan? Tayo ngayon nagbabalik ano, upang magbigay na naman ng panibagong kalaman sa ating mga uh, mabubuting mag-aaral. Ano? Gamit ang ating whiteboard marker, ang ating uh, whiteboard itself, at syempre yung ating eraser. Ano? So ayun, bago tayo magsimula, bago natin ilahad ang ating uh, reson ngayong araw, ano? kung maaari lamang mga kaibigan, ano? kung maaari lamang, <laughs> Uh, mag-subscribe na kayo sa ating channel ano? at uh, ganun din naman uh, click nyo na yung ating notification bell para naman updated kayo sa mga lessons na ating i-release sa mga susunod na araw ano? and also, syempre para masayang lahat comment, like, and share our videos para naman makatulong tayo sa iba alright, so ayun, good luck guys Hi guys, so today's lesson is all about asymptotes, no? So commonly, asymptotes ay ma-encounter uh, natin yan sa rational functions, ano? So in today's lesson, we will identify the equation of the uh, vertical and horizontal asymptotes. Alright, so we have different rules uh, regarding vertical and horizontal asymptotes, mga kaibigan, okay? So, unay na nga natin yung sa vertical asymptote. Sulat ko lang, ano, vertical asymptote, asymptote, yan. So, vertical asymptote, mga kaibigan. Simple lamang ito, no, if we have a rational function, let's say, for example, uh, y equals x plus 1 over x minus 1. So, for example, that is our, um, dito ko na lang nalagay, no? Dito sa gilid, para mas may space tayo dun. So, let's say, for example, we have a rational function x plus 1 over x minus 1. So, to find the vertical asymptote, mga kaibigan, equate mo lamang yung denominator by 0. So, by equating the denominator by 0, no? So, equate the denominator by 0. Tandaan nyo yun, mga kaibigan. So, our denominator here is x minus 1. So, to solve for the vertical asymptote, that is x minus 1 equals 0. Then, solve for x. So, x equals, transpose may negative 1 dun sa kabila, magiging positive 1. And this is our vertical asymptote, mga kaibigan. Ganun lang, simple lang, ano? Oh my God! Wow! You will get the denominator and then equate by 0. Then, solve for x. That will be our vertical asymptote. Okay? Um, hindi nyo pwedeng sabihin na ang vertical asymptote ay 1. Kasi 1 is, uh, is a value. So, ang vertical asymptote natin ay equation. Okay? So, meaning, our asymptote is x equals 1. Hindi lang 1. Okay? Kasi pag sinabi nilang uh, yung iba kasi, kapag sinabing solve for x, ang binibigay lang na value ay yung 1. Pero, this is vertical asymptote, and vertical asymptote is an equation. Therefore, the, the whole answer is x equals 1. Okay? Whereas, in horizontal naman, horizontal, <coughs> Excuse me, Paul. Horizontal asymptote, Meron lang tayong tatlong rules, mga kaibigan, ha, to identify our horizontal asymptote. Okay? First, Um, mag, ano muna tayo, let, let n, so maglagay tayo ng uh, notation. So, let n, no, let, small letter n, be the degree of the numerator. Degree of numerator. Ibig sabihin ng degree, yung pinakamataas na exponent dun sa ating numerator. Then, m, The degree of the denominator. Denominator. Okay, so pinakamataas na exponent sa ating denominator. Right? So our first rule is that uh, if n is equal to m, so kung yung degree daw, o yung pinakamataas na exponent sa numerator at denominator ay magkamuka, therefore, yung ating uh, horizontal asymptote is uh, a over b. No, where a is the uh, 
coefficient of the leading term dun sa numerator and then b is the uh, coefficient of the leading term in the denominator. Halimbawa, halimbawa uh, y equals 4x squared plus 2x plus 1 all over uh, 3x squared minus 6. Halimbawa, yan yung ating equation na na. Ang degree ng numerator ay 2. Kasi yun yung uh, pinakamatest na exponent. And then the degree of the denominator is also 2. Okay? Therefore, yung n ay equal sa m. So that is our case number 1. Tapos, to solve for the horizontal asymptote, you'll just divide the coefficient 4 and then the coefficient 3. That is our horizontal asymptote now. Okay? So for case number 2 naman, if n is less than m, so kung mas mababa daw yung uh, exponent o yung degree ng ating numerator kaysa sa ating uh, denominator, then our horizontal asymptote is y equals 0. Then lastly, kapag ka naman mas mataas yung n o yung exponent ng ating numerator kaysa sa denominator, our horizontal asymptote is wala. So no horizontal asymptote. Yun. No horizontal asymptote. So we have three cases in horizontal asymptote. Kapag ka equal yung kanilang uh, exponent, y equals a over b. Pag naman less than yung uh, degree ng numerator sa denominator, y equals 0. And then the other one is wala tayong horizontal asymptote. Okay? So let us have an, an example para ma-apply natin yung cases natin ano, for uh, horizontal asymptote. So example number 1, identify the vertical and horizontal asymptote of the function f of x equals 2x squared minus 5 all over uh, 3x squared plus x minus 7. Okay? So again, um, ito yung ating uh, function and then you are required to identify the vertical and horizontal asymptote. Right, so for this uh, an example, our vertical asymptote, sabi nga natin, kunin mo lang yung denominator and then equate mo sa 0. Okay? So, nung na-equate na natin siya sa 0, solve for x, mga kaibigan. So, by using our calculator, ano, we can solve for x from here. Gamit lang ako ng calcu. So, ngayon, Kung wala naman, kung hindi kayo pwedeng gumamit ng calcul, you can use um, solving or solving quadratic equations by different methods, no? By factoring, by quadratic equation, ay by completing the square and quadratic formula. Okay? So, nandun naman yan sa channel natin, no? Kung gusto nyo talagang uh, makuha yan without the use of calculator, punta nyo lamang yung video tutorial natin na yan, no? Since may, I have a calculator naman, hanapin mo lang equation, so, this is our equation. Then, polynomial. Then, anong degree nyan? 2. Then, type mo lang yung coefficients. 3, 1, and negative 7. Then, equal lang, equals mo lang. Uh, therefore, our x sub 1 is negative 1 plus square root of 85 all over 6. And our x sub 2 is minus naman. Minus square root of 85 all over 6. Therefore, these are the uh, vertical asymptotes, mga kaibigan. So, dalawa yung ating vertical asymptotes, no? Negative 1 plus the square root of 85 and then yung minus part. Okay? So, dalawa yung ating vertical asymptote. Kasi nga, in lang naman natin yung denominator by 0. Okay? Then, next is our horizontal asymptote. So, applying our cases, no? Since uh, the degree of the numerator is equal to the degree of the denominator, therefore, this is case 1. Okay, ano ba yung case 1? Yung case 1 is y equals a over b. No? Yung a natin is 2. Then yung b natin is 3. Therefore, this is our horizontal asymptote. So, ganun lang mga kaibigan. This is our vertical and horizontal. Okay? So, another example. f of x equals 3x plus 4 all over 
2x squared plus 3x plus 1. Okay? So again, for vertical asymptote, i-quit mo lang yung denominator by 0, no? So 2x squared plus 3x plus 1 equals 0. So again, by using our calculator, 2, 3, 1. So meaning, x sub 1 is negative 1 half, then x sub 2 is negative 1. So these are the vertical asymptotes. Right? So for horizontal naman, horizontal asymptote, uh, applying the cases, no? The degree of the numerator, it, this is 1, ano? Then yung degree ng denominator is 2. Therefore, mas mababa yung degree ng numerator sa ating denominator. Therefore, our um, horizontal asymptote is y equals 0. Kasi nga, mas mababa yung degree ng numerator sa denominator. Right? So, that is for... Sorry, example number 2 na yun, ha? Example number 2. Right? So, to... Uh, para may pakita natin yung case number 3, bigyan na natin yung last example, ano? Example number 3, uh, let's say we have f of x equals 4x cubed minus 1 all over 3x squared plus 2x minus 5. To solve for the vertical asymptote, ganun lang, kunin mo lang ito and then equate to 0. Then, yung horizontal asymptote natin mga kaibigan, sulat na nga natin. Tinamad ako isulat yung vertical asymptote. <laughs> Pero sige, sulat na rin natin ano. So, equate natin yung denominator by 0. 3x squared plus 2x minus 5 equals 0. So, again, using our calculator, madali lang naman ano. Type mo lang, 3, 2, negative 5. So, x sub 1 is positive 1. x sub 2 is equals to negative 3. So, these are the vertical asymptotes. Then, next is the horizontal asymptote. Since the degree of the numerator is greater than the degree of the denominator, therefore, no horizontal asymptotes. Yun. So, ganun natin i-apply yung ating three cases in horizontal asymptotes. Right? So, that's it for the asymptotes, mga kaibigan. No? Commonly, you will find this uh, questions or uh, parts of the uh, problem sa rational function. Okay? So, ayan. Kita-kits tayo sa susunod na video, mga kaibigan. Our ta next topic is graphing rational function. Okay? So, God bless, guys.